Hey drone friends, this is Adam at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. And before we get into today's news, I wanted to let you know that we just released a drone buying guide video for 2023, which is linked down below. So if you're interested in buying a drone for the first time or possibly upgrading your old one, definitely give that video a watch. With that said, I have three stories to share with you this week. Our first story covers dual use drones and why the US is so involved with them. For starters, a dual use drone is a drone that can be used both for commercial and defensive purposes. The term really went mainstream when data was released by Drone Industry Insights in late 2022 with rewards to the top drone manufacturers in the world. An interesting aspect about all of this was that the top three spots for manufacturers were all US companies, including Aerovironment, Institu, and Andrill. Today, we have several defense-focused robotics companies that have expanded into commercial applications like the ones mentioned above, as well as several commercial-focused drone companies that have expanded into defense applications. For example, Skydio, Teal Drones, and Acylon Robotics. So it will be interesting to see how drones continue to merge together in different professions. Our next story reveals the top Cinewoops of 2022. And if you don't know what a Cinewoop is, it's basically a quick, smooth FPV fly-through that takes you on an up-close tour of a place, usually in a single shot. It became viral in 2021 when drone pilot Jay Christensen shot the video right up our alley. In 2022, we saw Cinewoops being used more and more with sports teams, businesses, schools, and other applications. So here are just some of our picks for the top Cinewoop videos of 2022. If you're interested in watching all of the videos on the list, click our article down below. Last but not least, we're talking about drones collecting DNA from trees. And if you're anything like me, my mind immediately jumps to Jurassic Park and how they captured the mosquito and amber to then create dinosaurs. Luckily though, this is totally different. Researchers at ETH Zurich and the Swiss Federal Research Institute, WSL, have developed a special drone that is made to land on tree branches and collect DNA, which can then be used to determine which species are present in a certain area. The drone carries adhesive strips which collect genetic material when the drone lands or even just touches an area of a tree. Collecting such genetic materials from treetops can be dangerous, so the ability to sample remotely with drones opens up a whole range of possibilities for scientists. And before we wrap up, here are some of the week's photo and video submissions to share with you all. Also, a quick reminder that there is a certain upload size for submissions, so if you're submitting a video, make sure to have it only be 10 to 15 seconds. All right, that's all we have for this week. As always, check out the links below to read more about each story. Also, show us some love by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking this video. And now I'll pass it off to you. Which Cinewoop video was your favorite? And what do you think about drones collecting DNA from trees? Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you all have a great weekend. And to all of our drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.